Hello, everyone, and welcome to Season 18, Week 7 of Intermediate Oz Fortress Sixers League. I'm your wishes. I'm joined here with Bunnies. How are you going, Bunnies? Hey, good things. On the path of Happy TV, we're, we're proud to bring this game, so looking forward to it. I've been kind of missing the TF2 lately. Okay, so this week we're going to be seeing Glue Eaters Esports versus Cadenza. And we're going to be playing on Badlands and Gullywash, starting off with Gullywash. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. How about you, Bunnies? Yeah, it looks like an interesting game. I mean, Glue Eating Esports seems to have some strong players on it. So it should be an interesting game. Bit of a demo heavy map, so I think Demo Man will have a key role in the mid fights and throughout the map. But uh yeah. Interested to see whose snipers are better or things like that. Yeah, the demos will definitely be the ones to watch this game. I'm looking forward to it. Having a look at the team at Glue Eater Esports, we have confirmed Triss on Scout, Dell on Scout, Klebs. Also on Soldier, Rain is going to be the Pocket, Bobby Cools, Demo, and Omni Medic. So I'm not, uh, I'm not too sure about many of the players. I'm not uh, overly familiar with any of the people on Glue Eaters, but I do, I do know the name Rain, and will be another player to definitely keep your eye on. Very, very good at the Soldier. Yeah, especially I've known Rain, heard good things about him, and seen good things about him. He's a solid player overall. Excited to see how he'll fare up against 100 ping players on a Cadensis. I don't know how they say it. But uh, yeah, and Omni, I think he's a well known guy. He's good crossbows. But uh, yeah, do you know the whereabouts of this Cadence team? Seeing three players of 100 ping. I'm not exactly sure. It, it does seem like there's a few people on the server with quite high ping, so maybe there'll be a bit of a, a ping discrepancy between the teams, which one will maybe use that to their advantage. I know Hitscan can benefit from high ping, but certainly Projectile suffers pretty severely from high ping. Yeah, certainly. According to some chat messages, these are Asian players on the Cadence side. Interesting stuff. Some of them are actually Asia Fortress admins. Fascinating. So we'll see how they fare up just uh, repping their community. So trying to take down Oz Fortress from the inside out. It should be fun. Bring us down from the inside. Just waiting <laughs> for the last few players to get in here. Unfortunately, we don't actually have Cadenza's lineup. But if the, the current players that are in the server are anything to go by, we'll have Fushy, Fushy on Scout, Butterfly on Medic, Dewey Murdered, I'm not sure who that's supposed to be, on Scout as well. The, the generic ASCII face will be uh, one of the soldiers, and Laser Shooting on Demo Man. Still waiting for one more player on Cadenza to join, and then we'll be able to get this game underway. Yeah. But four players, and I imagine it's going to be five with 100 ping. So I really want to see how they fare out. It's very impressive when you see players uh, performing at a disadvantage. But just from warm up, which doesn't say much, but he's going to be doing all right. Yes, now, like I said, I'm not, a, I'm not hugely into knowing these teams, but. If you had to make a quick prediction, if you had to make a quick estimation of what the, the final scores are going to be, what would you predict, Money? Is which, which one do you see pulling ahead, taking the victory, and which one do you think maybe the ping discrepancy will come into play and not manage to pull that victory out that they need to? Well, again, it's, I just don't know much about this uh, Asian Fortress team, but, um, you know... They look pretty, just judging from pre-game, which I shouldn't do. Pre-game? Yeah, they, it's, they seem pretty strong. So I'm going to say it's going to go uh, four to one in favor of Cadences. So you're expecting a rather long match, rather 
backwards and forwards a bit there and just a few quick caps maybe? Yeah, I mean, with Fwishy just dominating four kill streak, very impressive. I'd even say five Three. one. Three game kill streaks, uh, <laughs> and, and a direct a direct correlation of a final person skill in the in the game. Hey, you, you know what they say? Pre game tryhards, you know, pre game warriors. They're warriors. They're not playing for fun. But uh, what's your prediction here? Look, like I said, I really don't know either of these teams. Uh, the fact that there's someone already playing Sniper pregame on 131 ping and is somehow doing as good as anyone else on the team, uh, maybe the ping will come into play, especially if they're going to run a permanent Sniper or at least like a long-time Sniper. But that ping discrepancy on Cadenza seems to be much larger than that of Gluita Esports. So I feel like maybe Cadenza will take a bit of a, a, bit of a toll on that front. And I'm going to say probably 4-2 maybe in favor of uh, Glue Eater Esports, just because, like, again, of that, that ping advantage that they have. Hmm. So just going over in favor of the ping here. Oh, well. I've got to keep in mind that Cadenza, you know, isn't like a one-time thing. 100 ping, it's always 100. They're probably used to it by now. So, you know... It might look like a disadvantage, but maybe they're used to it. Maybe they don't care. Maybe it doesn't affect them much. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. As for the map, how are you feeling about Gully Wash? It's been played pretty much every season, I think, since the since the first season of competitive. It's a very well known map, but like you said, it is very demoman, very demoman intensive, and Sniper also has. Some very very good sniper lines on this map. Hmm. So it'll be interesting to see if they do decide to run, say, a permanent sniper or a long term sniper, as opposed to running, say, two scouts or even, you know, two soldiers. They might switch off. But I do think soldier has a bit more of an advantage on this map to scout because there's a lot of height differential, not a lot of great places for scouts to double jump to. It's still very good for scout, but I think soldier does have the upper hand in most of this map, especially there on middle. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't be surprised from Cadenza to run the sniper just because of, uh, you know, hit skin in favor of projectile. But uh, I'm a big fan of demo on this map, just mostly because it's such big open space and you can single people out and then your scouts can pick them off, you know. It's fun stuff. But uh, I think last pushes can drag out a bit if you're not sure how to push it. Um, and just the utility, you know, it's just really strong pyro shutting down pushes and the sneaky energy spots, you know, just like sentries and secrets, sentries, what, behind the point to the right of the point. They can, you can put it pretty much anywhere. Yeah, his last point on Gully Wash is, it's a bit of a hard push to do. And, uh, there's been some very, very well-known streams where the last pushes on Gully Wash have lasted for quite a while. I believe there was one match, I think it was, in in the uh, American Leagues where they were probably pushing last on Gully Wash for a good 45 minutes before they managed to successfully do it. But yeah. we'll it's have to wait and see. Maybe it could just be a roll. This could be just a, you know, Cadenza goes straight in there or, or Glued Eater Esports goes straight in there, wipes them, wins every mid. Which would be a bit disappointing, but it would also be good for, good for watching some sick frags come out, which... I'm looking forward to seeing some sick frags this game. Yeah. Um. Maybe. I mean, it's what it's, it's one of those maps where, like, even if you push perfectly, you can still lose because, like, you push with an Uber Red, you can still lose. And that's you know similar to Snake Water, I guess. Just strong holds, you know, strong defense just means a lot in this map. Something on this map I like a lot. Is, and I'm pretty sure I might be wrong, but um, I'm pretty sure the middle point and the second point cap at the same rate. And I find that really interesting because I'm pretty sure it's the only map that does that. Really, I did not know that. I'm I'm pretty sure someone can correct me. <laughs> Go ahead. But uh, yeah. 
Still waiting on Cadenza's sixth player as they show off their uh, beastly scouts. They'd have to put their best scouts and uh, whoops, best players and scouts. Just hit scan over everything else. So they should be strong in theory. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see with the final scores, whatever happens, even if they lose, but it'll be interesting to see the comparison of their scouts versus Blue East, Blue Eater Esports scouts who don't have quite as high a ping. Having said that, both teams do do have fairly high ping. It's not just in the favor of 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 uh, Blue Eater Esports. Both players on each team have around about 130 ping each, which uh, I think over, anything over about 60, 70, 80 ping, and it becomes significantly harder to hit shots. Hmm. I usually find that uh, 100 ping is, is sort of the, the upper limit of where my skill starts to deteriorate. But maybe they've been, I'm not sure if they've been scrimming and practicing on playing with 130 ping. So maybe they're, like you said, they are used to it. But it'll definitely have to come down to, to who can click on people first, I guess. Yeah, just from some uh, behind the scenes analysts here at Captain TV, apparently Cadenza has seven more rounds up on glue eaters so they're probably a much more aggressive team you know that's pretty good having what seven round wins or whatever so they have to be doing pretty good yeah that puts them at a that puts them in a pretty good spot and that makes them definitely a team they you know that brings a lot of anger to the to the force you know they, everyone's looking at them going no we want to beat them and they're going not we're the top so it'll be uh, interesting to see how they play, whether that, that's sheer persistence or, or, or that's what I'm looking for. Consistency, yeah. Yeah, that consistency carries across, and but they can use that, that to their advantage. You know, they're, they're successful pushes. You know, they've got it maybe down to a bit of a fine art. They can just collapse and kill the enemy team. I'm fine with talking. Um, it looks like we actually might just be getting the last player in now. Uh, but then, of course, the players on the other team has to disconnect at the same time. So, I think that just was their team. <laughs> yeah, he was just sitting on a Glue Eaters team. So I think Clockwork or G-Star. Is that G-Star? It's going to be... In here as well. Is that a change in the roster? Maybe. No, it isn't. G Star and Roma, yes. I think the last play is Triss, isn't it? Yeah, so we're just waiting on Triss, so. And they should be here in what, the next six minutes, seven minutes before it's a, uh, they get uh, grumpy or switch your admins in here. Which they don't want. Uh, it's just your average TF2 game, isn't it? Where you have to be ready at 7:30, and the game starts at 7:45. Mm hmm. It's very fun, you know. I think some teams might abuse it. Just uh, you know, guys, the game starts at 8:15, not eight. Maybe, maybe not. But I'm sure the. Uh, Asian team doesn't mind all that much. They so were two hours behind. Two, yeah, three, something right, yeah. like that. Yeah, so yeah, two hours though. behind. So they'll be maybe a bit more awake as well. So that could also come into play a little bit. But I don't think two hours is a huge difference. But still, yeah, if, the, yeah. if the match uh, gets dragged out for a long time, you know, sort of starts hitting nine o'clock, and some of the people on the Australian team start getting tired, the sun might still be out. You know. They got the advantage of sunlight, you know? It's a big advantage. Watching this pre-game spy gameplay, getting some pretty pretty nice headshots over here. This could be uh could be the the uh the spy to watch for the game if we see a spy come up. Hmm. Is Ambassador actually that? Oh it is too. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure Rain 
He's a knowledgeable guy. He knows his comms. He knows how to lead the team. So, to lead them against the... What, you, what would I call them? The Giants known as Cadenza. Seven season winning people. Probably a team we'll see in the top four playoffs and whatnot. I think Rain's got it. Got some potential here. Yeah, we'll definitely have to watch him that to see if he's main calling, watch how the team coordination is going, whether it just falls apart or whether they've got some really good direction and, you know, focusing power. That's what it really also comes down to. More than just the direct, you know, who has the better aim, it also comes a lot down to who has the better coordination, which is, I think, an aspect of competitive Team Fortress that is hard to actually see on the camera. But you can definitely tell by, you know, where people are positioned and who's out of who's out of place sort of thing and that can be the difference between a victory and a and a loss yeah just micromanage your team you know maybe it's just rain on six computers we don't know just octopus arms controlling them all is that even enough arms i don't think it is not even but, not close we're gonna have to check into that and tell you uh, how many arms that rain has and then we'll uh be able to report that Ooh, that animals are on it. It's jumping with the wing, it's a crater for that height. Or maybe the pipe's just pushing him down, who knows? Yeah, the pipe does the super gravity. Uber's popped from Butterfly there. I'm calling it Butterfly, because that's what his name was before, which is uh, Cadenza's Medic. The only player with 15 ping. He's a Medic. He must be pretty confident. It'd be interesting to see if the 15 ping comes into play for him, whether his crossbows are more on point. Oh, that would be perfect crossbows. I mean, look at that. Perfect. First five seconds watching him, already a perfect crossbow ratio. Ratio hit rate. Whoops. More unreadies, readies. Who knows? It's now 8.15. It's the minute the game needs to start. Can of glue eaters pull out the start. Is this the start they've been waiting for? Jeez, that drops Butterfly around the trick. You're standing a bit too close. A bit silly. Bob this could be a real big upset uh, if they don't start right here. This could be the victory. Goes in the favor. It's because they didn't ready up. Oh, apparently it's um, Cadenza that's not readying up. So. Oh well. Should be fine. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, well, we're getting a different player in the server now. Maybe there was just one player was being difficult. Yeah, well, a lower ping might help. But Fwishy, I'm just calling it now. Fwishy's a god, and we're going live, starting in three. Round eight or nine, I'm not sure what round it is. Heading into this mid fight of Gully Wash. Gluey Esports versus Cadenza. Both demos opting for the choke rollout. The soldiers coming under the point, G says, hanging under there. Going for that drop down play I was talking about. Aggression onto the demo. The glue eater demo down. So that might force the drop out from glue eater. And that was a, it was very, a very quick mid. mid. Yeah. Very quick mid from the team of Canenza. Just dominating glue eater's esport. Yeah, just. It's just raining Omni. They're running away. They shouldn't have stayed in that long. Omni, luckily, sir, so up. Barely gets out. He's going to make it up. No, he does not. That is a huge, huge advantage. In favor of Woo Eaters. Oh, sorry, I'm in favor of Cadenzas. I'm stuffing up the team names already. Cadenzas wow. pushing into last straight away. Woo Eaters already struggling to defend. But one soldier behind the point here. Can he defend it? No. And that may have been the quickest round Team Fortress 2 I have seen for a very long time. Yeah, just really punishing Glue Eaters for just hanging around when they should have backed off. But uh, we'll see if Glue Eaters can kind of develop their pieces onto this mid a bit quicker. 
laser shooting dragon a bit quicker than Boba Cools, so should we get damage down onto Glue Eaters? And Glue Eaters all on the same side, all taking the same damage. And here it is, big bomb from I Love Chewy Lu. Gets Boba Cools is on the lower ground now. And there goes Drain. It's now Boba Cools playing alone. They're gonna pick off his supporting scout and then they're gonna go for him. Boba Cools, he drops out, Omni's out. They're all capping it. That's alright. Very, so. very aggressive mid on the half of Cadenza, showing their dominance. You know, they took advantage of the fact that Glue Eaters was all pushed into that corner. It has collapsed on them, took them all out, and that was almost another wipe for Glue Eaters, and that was, this is going to be a very big upset. They both have about even Ubers. Cadenza don't, sorry, uh, Glue Eaters don't quite have it here, but it should even out. So we'll see if this is going to be a quick push into last. There's a scout going under now. Can he get on the point? Maybe lol get him onto the point. The heavy's on the point. He's nearly dead. Hangs in there with eight health. Well, and that's going to be a last hold. It might send clockwork. I mean, G started a counter sack, but that's not happening. And I'm expecting Chin Yui to come up as a util class, but knowing their strength, honestly, they might just look to push normally. These soldiers look really strong. Even with a hundred ping, they're just dominating. They're flexing all over the place. Their uh, keyboard muscles just flexing. And Nothing crazy from, really going uh, on. Just kind of. I see they can get a pick here, pick there. Surprised we haven't seen an off class. Oh, we have Delete running up to sniper now. Just looking at that. Looking at that river slot. See if we can get a headshot there. Demo poked his head. Gets him, but doesn't get the kill, unfortunately. Chewy under. Trades with Rain, you know, he's done that twice now. Yeah. Oh, and they popped Uber. And they might drop the heavy here, which they might. He's gone into secret on 10 health or so. Uber's popped from Omni. Uber's faded for Cadenza, and the demo looks to be caught here from G Star. But Fwishy coming in, chomps him up. Oh, wait. He escapes, and maybe 10 health. And Cadenza just walks in here, so confident. But, uh. Might be overconfident. No, oh, it doesn't look like it is. And uh, how they just get collapsed on again. They just seem to know the health pools of uh, the health pool of Glue Esports, and once they know that they're all that are so confident to walk in there, it's just such a you know team thing to just be confident enough to walk in, prance about, and start doing ballet. You know, he's a yeah, he very fast mid. Yeah. Yeah half of Cadenza. Already getting a lot of spam out. Weirder Eastwards again just kind of collapsing in the corner. Dropped two players now. They've only killed one on the half of Cadenza. It's balanced out now. Both soldiers and Cadenza down but both scouts on Glue Eaters down. Medic goes down on Glue Eaters. They're just dying left, right and center. Cadenza looking very strong on these mid fights. Oh goodness. Cadenza just showing us how to make pancakes, you know. You just That's take... Cool wipe. And One full Uber advantage, pushing it to last here, and that's not what you want to see on a map like Gully Wash, where Uber difference is everything. Mm -hmm. But if they had some well-placed sentries and pyros, you know... But G-Star on Spy... I think he's missed a chance. And a vaccinator coming out from Omni. But I'm surprised the scouts aren't bumping it in, but they spot him! Oh, so tense. Poor G-Star. I'm not sure. I think the scouts were bumping into him and the demo just saw him. But, uh, well, well. Heavy hiding underneath here. Doesn't have a buff. Bit of a mistake. Heavy should be buffed. You know, that 150 health extra is nice to have. And we got, uh, Deleaf. He wasn't. Yeah, sniper drops off. He comes to Uber. Uber comes in from Cadenza, pushing into last. Hasn't picked up any frags with it yet, unfortunately. Despite the huge override, they managed to get the heavy, they get one of the soldiers, get the other soldiers, they're just collapsing on the point again. No sign of blue leaders managing to kill any of the players, although the medic frag managing to kick off the soldier doesn't matter. And that's going to be a third cap cadenza. That's the third time, fourth time even, Chin Yui has done that, where he just walks under the point, and he's such a... You know, strong soldier with those hundred damage rockets to 
just doesn't matter. He's just always hitting. It's great. He just, I he's love just this. thinking it doesn't matter if I die. He's just walking on the point and getting the point capture off. But here we go. Another mid fight coming out. Laser again, a bit faster. A lot of damage coming out this time. Cadenza taking a bit more of a brute force this time. Soldiers jumping in, trying to push him out of that choke point. And that looks like it could be a mid for Glue Leaders. The first mid that Glue Leaders has managed to, managed to successfully win thus far. Yeah. Omni dropped really low early there, 35 health, but seemed to get the mid pack just in time and survived Chinui's follow up bomb. Lucky stuff that he missed, because Rain and Omni were on what? 10 30 health? Could have changed the uh, turn of the mid fight. So it looks like Cadenza's looking to forward hold it here. Jin Yui's just aggressively holding forward. Backs off. Got Fetia on NG. I think he's a bit slow to set up. I'm not sure why he's on NG when they have even Ubers. And Jin Yui playing with fire. He gets to survive. Nice ring. Fish we. Fish Fishy we. getting the headshot. Nice. Jin Yui might look to sack back. He's not doing any of that. Oh, he's going to the river. He's peeking. He's going in. Lands a rocket on Splodin from the blah blah. G star finishes him off. I don't know what his name is. Alright, well, we've got the engineer coming up now and the sniper, so this is look like it's gonna be a bit of a strong last hold. Yeah, it is. Even trades, you know, looking nice. Fwishy. He's going for a cheeky play. Peeking it forward, but he backs off. Doesn't want to get picked by the leaf holding under there. G Star not having any of that dispenser, and Ch Chin Yui loves playing on that balcony. Oh, yeah. And laser shooting dragons, he's running that sticky bomb launcher that destroys stickies. I thought that was the pretty interesting. bomb launcher? Yeah, that one. Here they come, oh. they're pushing through River now. They've used the Uber, they go in, they jump on the point, getting killed by the sentry. They're only just now spotted out. Uber comes out from Cadenza. That's a much better river, although Scout's on the point, and they're all caught in secret here, and it looks like that Kanenza's taken advantage of that, squishing them in, killing them pure to them, DM, and that's a full white from Glue Eaters, and that's going to be a second cap. Kanenza. 100% of germs, gone in one white. Very impressive. And Chinui wastes no time to forward cold, drops Bobacles, goes after Rain, he's hungry for more. Chinui, really good soldier. He's just really aware that he needs to take height. Just to, he's just always jumping onto height and always, you know, has an advantage. Just you know, jumping onto height and he's just, you know, picking off everyone using this one simple trick. Yeah, very, uh, very good plays on the behalf of Cadenza. Just going forward, they're not expect like Glue Eaters is not expecting Cadenza to be there kind of walk out and go, oh, there's their entire team, and just get collapsed on and that. They just seem to be wiping at almost every control point. So yeah, here goes Chinui again, pushing under, but Ren and Jis are having none of it. They do not want him going under. Again, Splendor Ferocious. Oh, not buffed. Uber coming directly onto the combo, dropping them. Actually, no, they aren't. Heavy and Rain trying to hold the point, but they're playing on the ground and they're getting picked. Looks like it's just Vedia left, actually. Where is Chin Yui to save the day? Here he comes! Is he gonna go under? No, he isn't! He's going straight onto the top of the point! Draws Bob because Uber is popped onto the leaf and G Star. That should hold this just for a while, but Chin Yui, his crafted tricks aren't enough. Extremely clutch play there by, uh, by Ghoul Eaters. How long am I going to say the teams are correctly? By Glude is managing to just barely get the Uber in time to defend that control point. I swear if it was one second later, they would have lost that control point. Unfortunately, did lose Bobbicles in the process and their Uber advantage. So now there's going to be a 50% Uber advantage. But look at that. HSR doing some massive work, getting two frags in River. Yeah, I don't think this is wise when HSR is just... No one watching last. You didn't clear under. You got to clear under in Gollywash. He actually double got a double kill with one rocket uh, in a river and just walked in through the river. Walked in for just free. Lack of comms, I think. In the scenes, Glue is going to try his uh, elbow push again. Laser shooting dragon looking to hold it off. And he's setting up defensive stick. His clockwork launched up high. No middies there. And they've just taken their own side. Change of pace. Bogle's playing alone. He's going to get picked by Fishy. 
Chinui and Fishy playing on the ground. Rain looking to get dropped. He's on 20 health or so. Rain gets piped by laser shooting dragon. Fishy and Chinui. Looks like they've just forced him straight out of choke again on the second. It's just the scout Omni and Splendiferous up. Manages to pick Chinio. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. They're running back. They need to get to last now because they're getting chased by all of Cadenza. Oh, so, I'm just in love with this Chinui guy. These mid fights are incredible. Ooh, getting goosebumps, you know? Wish he dies to the trap. That might trigger an off class as the Illus are even now. The heavy hiding in secret on the half of blue leaders as yeah. Cadenza's just taking lobby here. Nothing crazy at the moment. Just where is his buff, you know? Where is his buff? Continue going for a bomb so quick onto Omni. Oh, doesn't doesn't get, it. get it. Very sad. Is that actually Natasha from Splendorfish? Maybe. G Star pushing into lobby. Going for a counter sack in the scouts, just nom nom nom, he's gone. A lot of aggression onto river area. And Glue is backing off to get in boss, he might reattempt that. Doesn't look like it. You gotta be thinking what's going through Cadenza's mind. They got they've got three, four points up now. They don't need to do anything, but they use the Uber anyway. Go going in straight away, they've not wasting any time. Haven't spotted the heavy yet, kinda getting caught out there. Uber's faded. And there's a lot more players up on the side of Blue Leaders. So that was a bit of a bad Uber. Fushi hiding it's hiding it underneath at the moment. Maybe gonna do something crazy. Heavy's just gonna sit on the points, so can't really do much at the moment. As we see oh. Blue Leaders pushing out of here. The frying pan kill coming out from Bobicles. No. You're joking. Fushi! Fushi! No! Can you do it? Oh! Uh, not quite. So exciting. Oh, this gets him. Splendy, though. Pulling through for his team, you know. Almost dying a lot there on Heavy. Without that buff, you know? G Star bombing in on Chinui. With one rocket, though. Not really gonna work. Delief, though. Looking to delete him. Okay. That, was, that was terrible. <laughs> I was right. Twishy, though. Holding choke while the rest of the team. They're looking to rotate round. Into River, River comes out. The tide of leaders pushing him into lobby. Both teams. But now it's just the medic on Cadenza. Gonna get chased into last. Can he live? He needs that 70% of that for- oh, he doesn't manage to keep his advantage. That's going to be a cap. The first cap we've seen from the half of Blue Leaders by the look of it. No, fishy has got this. And here comes the rest of the team. But he doesn't stand in the point. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, this mid fight, I think Fish- what do you call it? Cadenza. They're gonna play a bit more slowly. Slowly. Slowy. Not that. And they're gonna just pick off players bombing G Star and Rain. And big damage from shooting Laser Dragon. Right onto the combo. But Louis is just holding this side and G Star's denied and Big Door, he's so low. And Chinui getting big damage onto the combo again. And here comes HSR following up. But there's so much focus on the Big Door area and Clockwork goes down. Bobbles is alone and Big Door. And Rain solo, he has to back out. But they're looking to hold it because it is still even. But Laser Shooting Dragon has a positional advantage. And Bulkers getting oh, alone again. And Rain's Rain gonna drop. Barely. Now it's just Omni. Omni. Not gonna be able to get out another wipe, another successful mid for Cadenza. Just showing their dominance, showing that they're playing smarter, hanging around with the heels. Not getting caught out like Bobby Cools was for the longest time there. He's done that every single mid. In a lot of situations, he's just wandering off, just. Daydreaming, you know? G Star Just... having a 1v1 here in River. And uh, it's a trade. That's a direct trade. Yeah, it's alright. 5v5 on this last. With an unbuffed heavy. Oh, he's buffed! Big surprise. Uber pops from Cadenza. Full Uber advantage. Delief gets dropped. Rain on the ground. Looking for a playmate. Doesn't get anyone. He gets dropped. And here goes Splendor down. And here comes. Geez, I can't finish it up. 
<laughs> Looks like bunnies is 5 1 prediction. Might not be true because it might be 6 1. Damn it. <laughs> I forgot about that. Definitely laser shooting dragons. Getting to the mid a lot faster and managing to place a lot better stickies than I think Bobby Cools are at the moment. Just managing to deny them because they all keep trying to walk in big door and he's just putting a sticky right there and they walk in, they all take it. And it's just the, the initiator for the entire DM fest that seems to go in their way every single time. But we see Rain with the big jump doesn't manage to get the frag. Omni already dead, so you've got to be expecting a lot of jumps onto Cadenza's medic. Barely holds on there with a slew of health, but Bobby Cools picks him off, so that's going to at least even up the Ubers a little bit. However, that is still a mid win for Cadenza. Well, that's a slight Uber to Thingy Bob's. Glue it is, but um, that's the first time Bubbacle's solo action has paid off. Big surprise. But uh, Chin Yui here in a very cheeky spot, might get a cheeky pick. And here comes Young Clockwork and I Mean G Star. And Dalif as well. And Omni's following up, they're just committing so many to killing Chin Yui, which might not work. And fighting off in River. And they just are! Following up, dropping G-Star, and that's going to open up the river because no one else is holding it, so they'll have to back off. Publicool still holding in lobby. Bit of an interesting move, maybe he's got a sneaky little trap somewhere. Yeah, I'm checking. I don't see one. But the, that quick, quickie bomb launch, he just clears it out anyway. But even Uber's here holding last. And it's interesting to see how they decide to go. Chinui going in again, jumping on Omni, gets him down really low health, manages to get into secret and then survive the last rocket there. Chinui managing to do some pretty aggressive strats and get away with a lot of damage, actually. Yeah, very interesting bomb. I think Bobby Cools all manages to drop the Cadenza Medic. Butterflies, I can't remember how to pronounce that name. But I was this thing, yeah. That's full advantage for glue eaters here as they push out to second now. Maybe things are starting to go mm -hmm. in their in their favor. Fishy just going in there, just distracting and being in a real annoyance. That's still not going to help them much. Chinui now going through river. Is he going to be able to get clockwork and get this last cat? Doesn't look like he's going to be. But he's backing off. Just going to let them have second by the look of it. Oh, he's dueling G Star trades with G Star. Things are looking alright. But, uh, Condenso respecting Glue is and holding super far back. Very passive, big door hold. Lovely, lovely hold, you know, very passive. You can back up leads there. Still 40% disad with Glue is getting the best of the Ubers at the moment. Because mm -hmm. they're just kind of deciding whether or not they're going to hold second. They're kind of not committed to this open area down here. They want to kind of stay in lobby. Chini, I'm, I can't pronounce his name. Trying to go for the sneaky spot above Choke, but gets spotted out almost instantly. Can he get the Omni med? Omni is really low, only 66 health. Oh, so much spam coming in. And they're all such clustered on the point, so clustered on the point. It might have paid off, but they're looking at the back off with it being even Ubers and Cadenza just forward holding. Ubers popped in lobby, and two players have already been picked off Glue Eaters, and that's Bobbicles and Delive, and Rain goes down. Skelka downs as well, what? And there's... Uh, how did The combo is on last though, they got pushed through lobby. How no did went they... back to take care of him. What? I, s I swear they had to walk through Cadenza to get there. How did they just get there? I just, I just walk straight through. That's fascinating. Great play from Blue Eaters. Walking through the enemy team. Works like a charm, it seems. Bubbacle's going to choke, so it'll be hard for him to wander off. And the Sticky's coming down again onto Blue Eaters. Raining hell and Delete gets dropped by HR and G Star's low under. He has to come up through their drop down and Rain's low gets an arrow. They don't get me healthy, but Chinui coming in! Drop splendid and Rain low. And here comes G Star. He's low, but he's gonna drop Butterfly and gets picked off. Worth it though, but Omni's gonna die, so it's for nothing really. Yeah, so I think Butterfly was just kind of sitting on the point there. Wasn't really sure what was going on, and then suddenly, out of nowhere, the soldier jump took him out, but in the end, it. It didn't really make a huge difference. It might hold last for a little bit longer, but I don't think it's going to make, you know, the difference between maybe a victory or not. The sentry's coming up here on the side of Glue Eaters in that kind of sneaky little sentry spot on the staircase there, as both teams have even Ubers. Yeah, I think it's a... 
Louis it is that is not grinding, so it's a bit of an add to um Cadenza and Chinui picks off, gets away on what ten health. The cheeky bugger. I'm again showing that he can be both sneaky and the powerhouse DM class. Yeah, Sentry, Sentry gets, gets taken. Off. Green, tiling un under again. Trying to get Bobicles here. Jumps in. One rocket misses it. Another Ooh. rocket doesn't manage to pick off Omni. That's... He's just gonna kind of hold in this resub area here. Is this Chris Creek? They got it. They had a 40% add just from grinding. Just Cadenza know what they're doing. Cadenza are desperate to win. They only have to get, I believe, one more control point, isn't it? And then they get the victory. Oh, yeah, work. G star <laughs> under area here. Be seeing if he can do some things, but he's gonna get spotted out by HSR. Probably oh. gonna get picked off here. Gets picked off. He gets down. All and eyes now, underneath. Butterfly is under. This is interesting. I don't think they know, and they popped Uber under. Very interesting. Not favorable place to pop Uber, but they drop Bobbicles anyway. They don't care. Uber's got a fate for Denza, so it has for Blue Eaters. Rain taking the upper point. Looks like it. HSR might come in to counter this. Squishy. Will he go down? No, he doesn't. And HSR drops Omni and gets a nice fat direct onto Rain. He's low, and it's just HSR. First, Rain. <laughs> and Rain. <laughs> There's two Rains. Oh, Here come the HSR. spawners. HSR <laughs> holding for dear life as Bobby Cool is. And Splendiferous try their best to hold the point here. Chino just jumping on the point, forces the scouts on the point. They've taken oh. a lot of damage, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like Cadenza is going to be able to convert this. So, Glue to the Eastwards manages to defend the point once again. Such a good fight. Yeah. It's an interesting just... Uber coming through under. Yeah, I think they popped way too early. They didn't even know they were there. <laughs> but, oh well. It was fun and. But HSR on Spy, let's see what he can do. Splend drops Vidya, and they're gonna push him out through Big Dog, but oh, Fwishy! Right back at him. And that Chinyu, he's picking him off from behind, and he's gonna come in, do some more work. He might drop Omni here. Wait, will he? Yes, he will. And it's just Rain up top. They're hunting him down, picking at him. Otherwise, on HSR, playing that Spy, it's just G Star up on last. Don't know why HSR went on Spy, maybe trying to go for a sneaky little back cap. They're pushing into last now. No oh, Uber this... to help them, but they are just pushing in with pure DM and players. They've got hero advantage. Collapsing on point, forcing Blue Eaters to also collapse on the point. Oh, and there that's it going is. To be the sixth cap. <laughs> that, was HSR. that was the Spy that we were talking about. Massive, massive Spy play that we were talking about. <laughs> he actually got an ambassador for it. That's awesome. Well, that's fun. Well, laser shooting dragons going the same rollout every single mid. Bubbles slow again. And they're just taking their side nice and slow. The Om Omni has dropped so low. Chinui might capitalize on this. Oh, yes! Oh! Looks like they're changing maps. There was only five minutes left. In the oh, that was a massive 100 damage rocket onto three players. And it looks like. We have um, players changing the map before it ended, but it must have been seven two. I it was believe. six two, but there was uh, there was no not much time left on the clock, so I'm assuming they just decided to call and went to the next map. Yeah, very interesting. I was seeing a lot of good plays there. I wasn't expecting Cadenza to show up as much as they did, but they really showed up and showed who's boss, didn't they? Yeah. Oh goodness. I might have to pull up some logs, but I was... I mean, I got some... Uh, analysts did tell me. They warned me of the strength of Cadenza. They said how strong they might be. And they were right. You know, our analysts here at Caffeine TV, they're just really high-quality analysts. They just know what they're talking about. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I was really surprised how good Chin Yui was. Chin Yui, Chin Yi, I don't know. He was just such a solid roamer and he just taking any of people and On the side of Gleeders and
Tinui top damaging with 9.4k damage. Very interesting. But uh, we'll just wait till we can pull those up. Oh, we have them on stream. Lovely stuff. So, yeah, Tinui just a powerhouse player, just picking up frags all over the place. You know, moderate amount of deaths for a Roma. And laser shooting dragons, very low amount of deaths and high damage output. So, what you like to see on a demo. And then HSR the pocket, again, low deaths. And, you know, he's up there with the frags and whatnot. Yeah, Chin Yui uh, definitely showing his really aggressive dominance. Massive frags, massive damage. Hmm. Then we got HSR, Rain, and G Star coming in. Whoops, and then Bobacles. So, yeah, laser shooting dragons just getting in a lot more damage than Bobacles is. And I think. You know, those mid fights, especially just being faster overall, just really helped a lot. Just that early damage, you know? Yeah, definitely. And you have your heals here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Rain tanking a lot of the heals and not really managing to do too much with them. You know, they still got 21 deaths to 14 kills. As opposed to Chin Yui only taking 14% of the heals and managing to get 35 frags to 22 deaths, showing that heals don't necessarily make the biggest difference between victory and loss, just kind of playing smart, looking for openings and getting some, getting some good shots to connect. Yeah, it's pretty interesting how they um, give the Roma so much heals, because normally the Roma gets almost none, but here they seem to favor the Roma getting more heals. Because I thought this team would be a more scout-dominant team, with the ping and all, but I was <laughs> completely wrong. Completely opposite, really. But yeah, just the heal spread on Cadenza is just so nice. It's just so spread so thinly, you know? Could see some more heals on Fushi. He seems like a strong guy. But yeah, seems the Cadenza scouts are also performing a bit better than Glue Eaters. Which is alright. Overall, Maybe. what is surprising to see is that there's not a huge difference in the Uber, the Ubers that have come out from the two teams. I thought there'd be a much, you know, much bigger advantage in the favor of Cadenza. They've only got ten Ubers off as opposed to Glue Eater seven. That's uh, that's actually a bit, uh, you know, a bit of a surprise to me. I, I thought, you know, I saw Cadenza's medic going down a lot more than I did. Sorry, Glue Eater's medic going down a lot more than Cadenza's, but perhaps not. Yeah, they were really fast in the first few rounds, but they seem to slow off. As the um the sunset, I mean, uh, the game went on. Sunset advantage disappearing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get me. But nice dominant show of strength from Cadenza. I liked it. First Just... three rounds, especially going out extremely fast. Probably the fastest three rounds I've ever seen happen in Team Fortress Two. So that was it was fun for me to watch. So it's coming up here to Badlands. The match is just starting now. So we need to see who. Oh, and we are live. Coming in from this middle fight on the Badlands. Fun map. Oldest map in the game, maybe. I don't know. Laser shooting dragons messing up his rollout. Bobbicles opting to go window. Continuing aggressive onto that train early, gets some rockets down, but he drops low, and G Star picking enough. G Star switched to scout, interesting. Rain though gets picked off in corner, Omni's alone in corner, not healing anyone. Clockwork trying to fight Fushi and Fedia, but it's not going to happen. And Bob Omni lost gets his. Off. Omni manages to lose his pocket there. He's managed to pick one up now, but it's kind of just caught in house alone with 50 health. Wasn't really keen on pushing out. Surprisingly enough, I'm not sure if you noticed. Butterfly went down to about 20 health, almost got picked off by Omni, but then he just oh. hide behind the train and then live there. The no, I didn't notice it. But we got an interesting player switch with a... I think this is Triss, not Splendy. The soldier. And G-Star has swapped to Scout. I haven't known G-Star to be a Scout guy, so I think he's... I think he's a strong scout, and we got a sniper snippy play from Delief. Sniping from the top right, might pick Chinui, he's super aggressive. But uh, he's backing off, rotating the top left. 
and it is even Uber's Fushi's holding that right side. Maybe someone could rush him, because usually when we're soldier watching now. And she knew he might jump from under. Here he comes! But Omni's right out of there. He saw it coming. He ran. Laser shooting dragons. Bit forward though. And here comes the sack back from G Star, but gets picked off by video video nice from earlier there to deny him. Yeah, and nothing look. nothing spectacular happened at the moment, just kind of waiting for their scout to respawn. Maybe gonna come up with another sniper? Not really sure. Yeah, just oh. opting for the sniper now, so maybe they can get that headshot to initiate the, the push out of last, but... Surprisingly enough, not seeing a sniper come out from Cadenza. Chinui, oh, first time he's come to the start side, he might just walk in. Chinui oh. trying to get in. Oh, Nui gets spotted oh. out, nearly gets splintered, oh. gets splendiferous, but gets taken yeah, out by G-Star. Fishy, G-Star having a 1v1, Fishy gets the advantage of that. Oh, no, Fishy and superior. The Uber comes in top left. Taking out nothing at the moment. Kind of just locking up the point here. Fishy oh. walking in through back. Picks off Bobicles, maybe? No, it's gets taken out. Five behind the point. Laser's shooting dragons, trying to kill Rain, but he picks up Vidya. Ian Butterfly. HSR, HSR gets taken out. It's just the Chinui. Chin I'm going to butcher this name so many times. Chinui. Trying to see if there's any way you can get onto that last point there. Clock. No Oh, the only person fighting it. No! Chinui on last. Can he cap it off? He caps it off! He, that... he oh. skip jumped on that. Killed him with two rockets. He's so confident. And he just did it. Chinui's Chinui. a god. How does Chinui he do it? Chinui the god. He just doesn't care. Oh. Uh, yeah. Chinui playing for representing Cadenza. Well, he's shooting dragons. Hitting his roll at this time. Four plays rolling out Valley, Splendy hanging around Valley, but they're spotted by Fishy and Vidya, and look at them! Launching him into the sky. Short. Laser Shooting Dragons goes down to Bobby Cools. Bobby Cools goes down to Vietia. And looks like ooh, there's a lot of DM coming out from the side of Blue Eaters. But can Cadenza push back a little bit? Takes out Rain to leave on low health. Fishy picks him off. Fishy Vietia yeah, picking him off. Just Omni. Can he get out alive? Probably not. The scouts are chasing him. Can he get into that forward spawn? Oh, just. Barely gets into the forward spawn, manages to back spawn. That was extremely close. He could could probably feel those scouts right behind him. That was just... it was an impressive oh. mid fight from both the Condenza managing to just play around the heels and keep themselves alive long enough that they could uh, they could win that fight. Yeah, just the scouts from Cadenza just playing under the point and you know, picking off players that are looking to take one-on-one -on -one duels, and it's just the teamwork side of Cadenza just showing. They just play as a group, except for Chinui, and they just, you know, pick people off. 50% advantage coming in on the favor of Cadenza here. I'm sorry, on the fa yeah, on the favor of Cadenza. Slowly losing that advantage. They want to push now. I'm not sure if they're aware they have such a massive advantage. As the Uber comes in, Heavy's been swatted out. He backs up into spawn. HSR kind of moving behind the point here. As Chinui gets taken out in the left side, Vieta versus versus G Star and Omni. Omni gets taken out by shooting dragon with massive pipes, and they just walk on the point for free. Laser shooting dragon, just proving he is a laser shooting dragon, except with pipes. Very interesting mythological beast. But onto this next mid. Interesting mids, you know, maybe they'll look to lock down the lower part of the bridge, but uh, with Lady Shooting Dragons shutting down Bobacools and Omni looking to push up onto the side of the crates from Kaden. Spot of can't get any damage down, gets picked up quickly, and the rest of. Oh, wait, Scout coming in, but he can't get anything done. I can't say his name. Spender Ferocious. Spender Ferocious. Yeah, that one. So Clockwork, G-Star, Bobicles and Omni manage to back out. I keep saying Clockwork, it's, it's G-Star. G-Star, Bobicles and Omni backing out here. Kind of still caught in lobby. They're going to get uh, flushed out by that big man, Chinui. Can he get, he got a 3k! 3k oh. there in the lobby. Just showing up again and again. Drops the Uber on the side oh. of Blue Eaters. Going to walk into last for free here. Rain trying to get into upper Chinui. There's not, none of that. Oh, it's just... And that is oh. a that is a a third round in the favor of Cadenza. Where is the Chinui fan club?
We get four champs in chat between Yui. I I believe <laughs> he deserves them. Just showing up again and again, every fight, every every opportunity he can, he's pushing in, he's taking frags. <laughs> Here he comes again, straight onto the scout. Doesn't kill him, I was hoping he would. Here comes Spender, doesn't get anything done. And Brain finishing up on Fishwee. But Cadenza just locked into Choke, and that's not good for them because they're taking splash damage. Rain's Rain trying to drop Rain him. Four health. Four health clutch. This is the first mid fight that Fluid has managed to win. They're coming in through Choke here. No Spendy. traps on the side of Cadenza. They're just walking in pretty much for free. Laser Shooting Dragon taking a lot of damage. Splendiferous kind of holding in this flank area, but the Uber comes out on the side of Cadenza. That was a really, really terrible Uber, to be honest. But. I might get some work down here, takes all the players down to low health, and Shin Yui gets shot out of the sky by a massive air shot from Rain. Absolutely massive. Sad to see that happen on Shin Yui, but oh well. We'll live. Bestia is really... Ugh, what do you call him? Blue Eater Scout. Holding on, trying to deny Splendid that resupply. Doing well because he's run all the way back to house, but Bottom Kills looking to take lobby and it shouldn't be too hard. NG. The soldier will be holding that bottom left, should be alright. But it is add two glue eaters, but they aren't really grinding from the what since the last game. And oh goodness, the shooting dragon is down. What's happening? They might push us off the... Spot it! They're shooting at it now. Fwishies looking to see what he can do. His shotgun NG Rain getting launched up. Looking to take him down, but he's just not dying! There he goes. But they have the high... Dad, but laser shooting dragons might be able to help here! And how the heck the only one up. Can he get in? Splendiferous versus laser shooting dragons. Splendiferous doesn't want to take this fight. He's trying to get some height advantage. Splendiferous got the... Heals is so There's low. No Shooting dragons. Can he get the kill? Gets the kill. Successfully holds last. You know, Splenny just hasn't been uh, taking moots from Genui enough. You know. <laughs> bit of soul. Got... Bit of soul coming out and chat from the uh, from the quickie bomb launcher on the side of Shooting Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, well. As the players push into second here on the side of Cadenza. Genui oh, I'm just hiding in. What do you call it? Valley there. Not valley. Trash, whatever you call it. Thanks for the Dragon slipping the whole choke. And are they pushing with their full Uber advantage? Yes, they are. I don't. Are Gluey's aware of it? They might not be. Chinui. Doesn't get saved. They came in a bit late. The Splendid getting chased on the point. He gets dropped. Delete and rain. Goodness. Cool. Just trying to but. get. Okay, alright. And... But, I, you know... Uh, Cadenza has the... Cadenza has the... Spawn advantage here. On this last point. You yeah. walk into lobby for free, hasn't been spawned... The Pyro delete on the side of Glue Eaters. Yui just going deep, he's gotten chased by everyone, doesn't care, he's just walking straight into last here. Gets picked off, but still manages to pick off Splendiferous and all of that. 
As laser shooting dragons come in for the cleanup from all the players chasing Chinui, but will him himself they get their Uber forced out, trying to get trying to get Omni to force his way, but the Imu comes out from Bull Eaters. Ooh. We should be able to pick up for laser dragons here. What is taking them so long? We get him, but Petisar's on sniper, and you saw how his ambassador spy was with that one headshot kill. That one headshot. That's the decider. Oh, Chinui! Taking out the leaf in a manly fashion. Drops him from the ceiling. And headshot off the sir. When different is going to go for someone is here, Vieta. Vetia. Hey, just oh, 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 oh. a massive headshot on Rain. Holy, that was oh. incredibly good. Oh, that's just. Laser shooting dragons just on the point. Take that bollocks. But the M1 pirate and Fwishy is looking for vengeance. But he gets burned as well. G star pyro frags. Sun. Scream. Cream. Did Sun Cream help with burns? Probably not. <laughs> All right, it's Uber, Uber add to uh, what you call them, Cadenza. Big Uber add. But they still don't have much of an ad they have. They're just kind of choosing to go for a much more passive hold, and Blue Eaters are just kind of aggressing in, even though they have Uber dis ad. Chinui just kind of distracting a lot of the players behind you. There by G Star, almost taking him out too in the process, however. Oh, headshot onto Bubble Bros. Just watching the HSR game. Headshot on to Sprain. Ooh. Headshot on to. Oh, it doesn't. But here it comes. And he gets the body Ooh. shot, finishes off on me, drops the Uber. Oh. Pushing into last on. Pushing into last on Badlands with Uber. Full Uber ad. Ooh. I think. Do they know? G oh, they do know G Spot, so. He gets out there with his life, but it is full ad, and they might just wait for the HSR to get a 6k on Sniper, you know? Real quick. Wouldn't be surprised. And he did Oh, gets G Star dropped. <laughs> oh, dropped really like dropped an Nintendo Switch. Uber comes out. I haven't managed to do nothing, nothing too crazy. Got one frag, two frags, laser shooting grinding, just spamming the point. Rain forced to kind of go near the points. Wonder if it spawns up, but it's not going to be enough, I don't think. As Fushy finishes off the cap. Oh. And that's 4 0 in favor of Cadenza. Incredible sniper plays, incredible sniper plays on HSR, opting to rain, run sniper to mid. Feeling so confident about his sniper plays, he's opting to run sniper to mid, so we'll be going to keep an eye on him to see if he does anything this mid fight. Yeah, just a few headshots here and there. Chinui, the super fast bomb, hits a Huju, trying to get across, but geez, I should clean him up. Yes, he does, but Splendy goes down as well. Rome is traded, rain, bombing into the case, but he gets shut down. Big body shot, I think. HSR, though, can he get any fall away? Oh, actually, Fishy and Venti just working together again. They're just a scout combo from heaven. And here goes HSR. Bobbles, separated from the pack, picked off. He's the herd's meal for later. And here comes Fishy from behind, gutting Omni open, preparing him on the grey bridge. Ooh. Very, very good plays on the half of Cadenza there. They got pushed out to choke, just waited, got their heels up. They knew that Blue Eaters weren't playing their heels as, as smart. And then the flanking scouts got around, managed to pick off some of the more important players, and just left them completely defenseless. <laughs> Venti, 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 Venti kills himself with a three room plate. Too enthusiastic about grinding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and now they've got HSR still at Sniper. Delief. With that, uh, what's he doing? Chinui just hiding in, in lowers here. Not really sure why he's there, but somehow I feel like he's gonna manage to pick off a pick that he just really shouldn't be able to get here. Oh. Uh, gets taken out by Rain. As Fushi is kind of jumping around. I think Rain's just catching on to Chinui shenanigans, you know? And Chinui just being in places no one, no one should be. <laughs> HSR misses oh. the headshot on Rain. Oh, no. barely. Give me that HSR cam. Where is it? There it is. He's sniping. He's aiming the top left, top right. Onto Bobbicles. Oh, yeah, that's tiny. Not precise enough. There. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Very, very good, very good. The known Bobbicles, he's going to peek again. So we've got the sentry holding the left side here of last point for ghoul eaters. 
Bobby Cool's got an interesting trap set up there because I know he keeps complaining that his stickies are getting taken out. So this will be this will be interesting to watch to see if he actually manages to get a kill with his traps once in this game. Oh, the just, going just in. walking in. Oh, actually, probably didn't know there was a sentry. Just walked in and then died to the sentry. I think they're just trying to bait people out for HSR because he's just peeked in to balance it. Very interesting strategy. Trading video like a pawn, but he's going to get picked by Rain. No, he doesn't because Vayne was Rain wasn't aware, but he might drop. The leaf doesn't get it. Oh, so excited. But uh, back to Stalemate. Interesting that they did that. Sacking Vedia just so... What's his face? HSR could get some potential picks. Very, very interesting. Yeah, but if I think a bit of spam here, nothing too major. As Rain trying to walk into Lowers here, managed to pick up off laser shooting dragon. They use Uber, kind of catching Cadenza off guard here. Fushi deciding to back out. HSR and Shinui get taken out by Splendiferous. So that was a pretty successful Uber, just caught him off guard going through lowers there, although Fishy on the last point gets so much cap time, takes out takes out G-Star and Splendiferous. That was very, very good scout gameplay right there. As Butterfly goes down, just Vietia under defending the spy, managed to get it. Chinui coming in, oh. hits a shot on Rain. Rain hits a oh. massive air on him. Chinui running for his life. He doesn't want to fight that. Although, no one's watching last. Laser Shooting Dragon going in there now. Only a sentry gun. Chinui trying to spot out that sentry. See if he gets a spam. Oh, Laser Shooting oh, Dragon gets spotted out. on Spire. This is not a good strategy. Because here come the cleanup crew. And he actually capped it. What? Omni the legend. He <laughs> kills Chinui. <laughs> Chinui. Shoots a rocket, gets himself killed as well as Omni. What a goober. Didn't Eight see it coming. Someone sniper hasn't managed to get any picks. May get Splendiferous, who's caught out here. Doesn't. It's turned into a bit of a bit of a back and forth game, you know. Picks here, picks there. Whichever medic manages to survive and which one dies is the decider for this. HSR are getting really aggressive and lower here. Drops rain to 30. Maybe he needs to go back and spy the recharge his uh, skill, you know? They want to see oh. some more of those spy frags. Yeah. Interesting sentry spot. They've kind of moved it into a into a bit of a surprise spot. Maybe shooting dragons will get caught out here when they use the Uber. Not expecting, although G Star just showing, hey, I'm an engineer. I obviously have a sentry somewhere. Maybe not the smartest move, but you know, I thought you'd maybe play a bit bit hidden so they're not expecting a sentry, but anyway. Video has it's just like getting Splendid really aggressive out. in the top right here. Yeah, Splendy just not watching it enough. 50 health. Will he kill himself again? No, he doesn't. He's learned Uber his lesson. Out. Uber is popped, but... They haven't swapped the sentry yet. I don't think they realized it was there. I think it should have it. Just barely, got, just barely got it. Going back into upper lobby here. Both Ubers come out, so it's another stalemate. Although Rain coming in through Wallace here. Ooh, with oh. the leaf. Squishy. He's running into a lot of heavies, gets Rain Fishy. onto the point! Geez, I'm trying to jump him, but Fishy up. drops him as well! Vinny onto the point, he's just as drops plenty and he does! What?! Very, just very, Vinny. very good gameplay. The Vinny Fishy combo, just... Oh! Both scouts working really well together. Star of the show. That was... Just stealing the spotlight off Chinui. I just can't believe that power swap from... Scouts to from soldiers to scouts, so impressive. And hate your sergeants, <laughs> some massive sniper frags. Oh, incredible game! Both teams played very well. Cadenza managing to pull just a little bit of head, especially I think with the advantage of Chinui, just massive frags left, right, and center. Definitely the star of the entire game. I would, I believe you would agree, would you not, bunnies? Yes, yes, certainly, certainly. But, some good frags coming out from both sides. That was that was an experience. That was an incredible game. <laughs> yeah, it was over in 19 minutes for a short game, but rain top damaging. I think I need to go have a shower after that. It was, was that good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How things went. Just yeah, I'm surprised Rain was able to put out that much damage with under. What?
Ja, das ist her. Also wenn ich Full of victory out there. I need to get some geest. Oh, pyrofrag in there. It's good to see something other than just the you know the soldier demo scout medic getting some frags there. Some good headshots and frags from HSR, although probably, I don't know, I'm not sure about the running the sniper the mid, but definitely it seemed to work out for them in the long run. Hmm. <laughs> I think I, I think they were just overconfident, really. They were helpful in pushing up. And being well, consistent. Scrolling that a bit further, again, Blue Eaters tanking rain, 40% of the heals going to rain alone. That's that's a lot of heals going to one player, which I'm not a huge fan of seeing, but as we see, Laser Shooting Dragon taking 23%. So rain just tanking all of those heals on the side of Blue Eaters. He did manage to do a fair bit, but again, was it enough to seal the victory? Unfortunately not. So maybe they have to divide better. You need to do a lot more if you're going to be taking up that much heals, you know? Mm, definitely just take you more damage. It's just that's all right. But yeah, again, kid. Happy. Just they have the right, you know, cutlery for spreading it out. You know. <laughs> sure, when the dinner pun showed up, but all right. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. And simply an incredible game. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun casting, this one. Yeah, it was really nice to see what uh, Asia has to put out, you know, in competing in us Fortress so <laughs> competently, you know. Just yeah. really... Like, ping, the ping the uh, is really not coming into play as much as I thought it would. I thought there'd be Sort of rockets not doing so great, but maybe the scouts were better. But really, it was almost the complete opposite. The soldiers were just turning up consistently. Scouts still doing a fair bit of work, regardless. Yeah, I guess that means uh, next season we have to join an Ace Fortress train to try and uh, prove that I'm better. <laughs> uh, it's a fun learning experience. Maybe playing on what hundred ping, hundred two hundred, whatever maybe. Oh, what? Uh, so I'm not sure if we're going to have any interviews. I don't believe we are, so... Uh, I suppose we'll probably wrap it up here. I want to thank Tapping TV for the cast and for the host and for the stream, my co-caster bunnies. More the main caster for most of the game. <laughs> and I'm your wishes. It's been great. Once again, this was Season 18, Week 7, Glue Eaters Esport versus Cadenza. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We look forward to seeing you again shortly. Good night.